Okay, sunrise. Monday morning, heading to the grocery store. Uh, talked to a cashier the other day. She said that at 7.30 in the morning you can get into Ralph's and they should have paper towels. I'm hoping for the uh, selected size, but I'll take whatever they have at this point. I think there might be a line. But, oh boy, this is my big activity for the day. Try to get toilet paper, paper towel for the house and be a provider that I know I can be. So let's go see what we can find. I haven't uh, been able to find toilet paper or paper towel at any grocery store in Los Angeles in about two weeks. I've heard some tales of some toilet paper at a Staples, but I'm not going to a Staples for toilet paper. It's either at the grocery store or it's not. Uh, apparently they start letting in the elderly at seven, so they get a head start. Good, you know, early bird gets the worm. And then at 7.30 they let in general population. So hopefully I can get in there, grab a couple rolls, paper towel. I don't wanna be, you know, grabbing a family size. Just a good eight to ten dollar investment in some absorbent material, and that'll be good for a couple weeks. That's all I'm asking for. This is the big event for the day, and then after this, hopefully I'm home by 8 a.m. with nothing else to do. Okay, it's 7:25 a.m. Monday, March 30th, second week of quarantine. I got a good feeling about today. I think this week's gonna get off to a good start. You know me. One leg at a time, I like to get out of bed, get a fresh roll of paper towels, and start my week. No paper towels. Some toilet paper, but no paper towels. No select a size, no nothing. I wouldn't call it a price jacking, but um, it was uh, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for uh, what looks like twenty rolls. It looks like they included a few bonus rolls. I wanted a twelve pack of choose your size paper towels. Choose your size equals choose your adventure. Sometimes you only need a small slice of paper towel. Maybe you want a slice of pizza. You know there's gonna be a little grease on your fingers. You know what I mean? Maybe you want to clean the bathtub and you need a full size. You never know what you need when it comes to the paper towel game. But now because of the coronavirus, COVID-19, have you heard? Uh, you know, you gotta make do with what you have. We've gone the last two weeks without any paper towels. We've been using gym rags, you know, and uh, that doesn't work out too well. So I got a 12 pack, cost me $21 and change. And I'm gonna, you know, be rationing out supplies of paper towels to uh, Tasha because, you know, Tasha likes to use a lot of PT, but we just don't have it in the budget right now. It's not the time right now to be using unlimited PT. So we're gonna give her one, maybe two plies a day, and we'll, uh, Hopefully it's absorbent enough that she can use it for multiple usages, rinse and repeat, and uh, you know we'll we'll just we'll reevaluate next week. Uh, not only did I get Bounty the quicker picker upper, but it is a selecta size. Who knew? Here's my beef here though. It says eight double rolls equals 20 double plus. You're trying to tell me. I thought I was buying 20 rolls of paper towel. It's really just eight big old PTs. The marketing's kind of off. Look at this. It says 20. Fine print. Eight doubles plus equals 20 doubles plus. The hell does that mean? Eight doubles plus equals 20? That's not even marketing, that's just wrong. Let's go surprise the fiance because 
I'm a provider. Wake up, honey. You got bounty. Nice. You're getting one sheet per day. Choose your size. If you choose a small sheet, live with it. If you choose a big sheet, enjoy the, enjoy the versatility of a large sheet of bounty, quicker picker upper. Wake up and enjoy this paper towel. Wake up, Boone. You got your paper towel. Drool on the ground all you want. You get one piece a day. Twenty-one dollars. Twenty-one dollars. Well, life's expensive. What do you want me to do? Where did you get this from? I went to Ralph's. I knew a guy. I got in at 7.30. I was in at 7.30, not a minute too late. I let the elderly go in first. I went in, self-checkout, I left. I cried out of my right eye. I don't know if it was the wind chill or what. All right, I got my paper. What's that? Okay, I got my paper towels. Uh, next thing, uh, I'm gonna continue doing some home renovations while we're sitting around during the pandemic. Gotta stay productive. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing is painting the ceilings. These ceilings have a dingy old paint. So we went to the depot and I got ultra pure white paint. I want these ceilings to look like an Oscar show. You know what I mean? So white. What I did earlier this year is I painted these walls a nice flat color, which is great for the podcast studio. This is my kitchen. This is also a podcast studio. So um, I also finished or refinished these windows earlier this year, recocked it. So today, let's repaint the ceiling. Take a look at it now. See those little dark lines? Gross. We're stuck at home and I figured we would recreate the movie Say Anything. I'm gonna play John Cusack as you do. We don't have a bed set up, so Tasha's gonna stay here, which is just part of our couch with triple the cushions. And you can see on the back, I've held it up with a mic stand. I put a plant here, so we're gonna try to look. We're gonna make this couch look just like this movie. We're gonna make it look like this scene right here. Not bad, right? So I've got Tasha researching her part. She's watching the movie right there. It's both your hands behind your head. <laughs> Three, two, one, action, big exhale. Cut. Good job, honey. I Take need one. Light. Can you put the clamp light up over there so I get a little yellow light in the room? There's no light coming from here on my face. That's a lady who knows what she wants. <laughs> we shot one take and Tasha's having a full-blown panic attack back there. Look at that stance. No. That's not the stance of a happy woman. We're gonna set up a second light because Tasha wanted a little bit of fill lighting. So we're gonna put this nice L -S LED, LED or LCD? We're gonna put this nice light. Uh, we're gonna hang it on this clamp that I got right here. Screw it like that. One, it only takes one screw. Tighten it. Boom. Striking. So you want yellow light? Just yellow or a little bit of combination? A little bit of both. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this light off. Like that right there? Mm -hmm. And that's how you shoot a pandemic viral video. Oh, that's good lighting. Told you so. That's how you have a happy marriage. You let your wife say, told you so. Even if you know deep down, she didn't. You Except I did tell you, and everybody knows. Right? Everybody knows. You win, honey. Leave a comment if you disagree. Tell you what, if you vote for Tasha being the right one, like and subscribe. If you vote for me being the right one, like, subscribe, and comment. <laughs> oh, she laughed, I win.
Okay, we came outside. Now we're gonna shoot my scene, the John Cusack moment. Um, I'm wearing Natasha's sweatshirt and a small shirt of hers. She's gonna shoot my scene, okay. Okay, that's a wrap on the Two Ply production shoot of Say Anything, COVID-19 edition. She was Tasha Courtney, I'm Dave Neal. Subscribe, like, follow, review, love, share. Bye.